à ta gueule, and that means shut the f up in French. <laughs> People steal underwear off the clothing line. <laughs> in Japan, everyone thinks that I'm 25. Oh, what? <laughs> Hey guys and girls on Astubanese, it's your flashy fashion reporter Kathy Cat. We hit the streets of Tokyo and asked the foreigners here what secret they learn in Japan. And we learned some exciting stuff. So let's go and ask foreigners in Japan. Where are you guys from? Uh, France. Both of you? Uh, Paris. Like coming here to Japan, what is like a secret you found here? Oh yeah, there are many uh, French restaurants, but they're not good as in France. And <laughs> Uh, sometimes there are some restaurants who are f Japanese, but they have a name who is French, but that means nothing in French, so that's fun. Oh, right. What is like the weirdest thing or the weirdest French you've ever seen on a t shirt or in a store or something? One time it was written um, à ta gueule, and that means shut the f up in French. <laughs> so <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was the name of a store? Yeah, of the restaurant. restaurant? Yeah, oh yeah my I think. Gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you like the, um, the little moth thing. That's a secret for you. <laughs> Ooh, so that? we found um, the hummingbird moths. Have you seen those? What? <laughs> no. Moths? Moths, yeah. You know the things that look like butterflies? Yeah, yeah, but they flutter like a hummingbird and they're very cool. And we found them, um, a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and I thought they were so beautiful. They were very interesting insects here, actually. <laughs> were they like free roaming or yeah, were they like yeah. in a... Mm -mm. They were just a lot by these bushes near uh, one of the stations. Do they eat cloves or food or...? So they have a little um, antenna similar to how a butterfly would and they um, take from flowers, little nectar. Yeah. They're very pretty. You don't think so, but I think they're very I think pretty. They're, cute. they're just a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Where are you guys from? Seattle. Ooh. California. First of all, tell me more about your shirt. Okay, so I actually <laughs> normally wear like super plain outfits, mm -hmm. but she has the coolest fits ever. And so I came to Harajuku to try to spice things up a little bit. Yay. And it was the first cool one I saw. Yeah. Mm. You stand out so much that we decided to just like <laughs> straight go for you guys. So. <laughs> thank, thank you, you thank you. Right? What is like a, um, a secret that you have discovered here in Japan? Mm. Okay, so I'll have to think about the secret place, but the culture and the people, I was always told that Japanese people are super friendly, but you have to take time to get past that first layer of friendliness. That's super not true in my experience. They're just super friendly. It's like very easy to get along, very easy to speak to them and very easy to get close. Just don't be, if you're from America or you're from a place that's like you drink and you get touchy, don't. <laughs> yeah, it like crosses a lot of and boundaries. don't say her, don't say her. The first yeah. day I was here, I was on the phone. I was trying to find my spot and I was like, excuse me, I can't find my spot. And then they said something and I couldn't hear. And I was like, huh? And then all of a sudden they 316 is just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. And I was like, no, no, it's okay. I did not mean to say huh. Yeah, so so a, don't say huh. I've it's rude apparently. In class. And did huh. You to your teacher. I did. Mm -hmm. So I did it in like the first day. I didn't understand what she was saying in English, or at least in America. If you say huh, it's like, repeat yourself, please. Yeah. Here it's more like, mm, can I swear? <laughs> it's well it's like uh screw off basically it's like way more like, aggressive it's really rude here yeah 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 oh yeah it's more like huh yeah know, like, yeah yeah, huh? yeah exactly <laughs> huh it's something <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm worried <laughs> yeah it's kind of aggressive it's kind yeah. of aggressive you Shut think up. of a secret okay Okay. Yeah, oh. oh my god, people steal underwear off the clothing line. <laughs> what? Yeah, if you're hanging your clothes out and you're on like the first floor, I lived above a laundromat. I've seen things in the laundromat, but people will literally, they'll hang up their underwear, right? And it's always girls' underwear. And you'll see people <laughs> <laughs> run out with girls' underwear and it's freaking crazy. I only saw it once. I'm acting like it happens a lot, but... Mm. It was in the laundry mat. Literally, the, the, someone had their laundry basket out and then they left. And this one dude just literally runs in, grabs it and leaves as if I'm gonna like shoot him down or something. <laughs> I guess they don't do that here, but literally. <laughs> it's yeah, like, I'm not gonna American. personally become Batman to hunt down the like underwear hunter, but mm. I don't know, strange things. Okay, <laughs> so also not a secret if you live in Kyoto and you go out, but we have a main street down by Kuwaramachi. And what I didn't know, so normally when you come here, like on the Shinkansen and stuff, your first time you'll see signs telling you to not squat on the toilets. So in Kyoto, the first sign I saw when I went into my first bar, when I went to the restroom, is no throwing up on the table, no throwing up in the restaurant, no throwing up in the trash can, but you can throw up in the toilet and you can throw up in the river outside. And so if you stay late enough until one or two or 5 a.m., you'll go out and people will just be lining the river throwing up into it. <laughs> oh my God, my like, uh 
uh, elegant image of Kyoto yeah. has just <laughs> broken. Okay, no, no, it's it's it. amazing during the daytime everywhere. Like the temples, like the shrines, everything is super clean. If you walk down the street, you'll see like three little shrines in each neighborhood. You can walk five minutes in any direction and see a cool temple. But if you go downtown after midnight, it's a whole different like, thing. Yeah. What is the secret you found out when you came to Japan? As for me, it's uh, also about skulls mm -hmm. because uh, I watched anime, you know, and mm -hmm. there is so not as in real life in Japan because in anime it's so very colorful and also about school form. There is short skirts, <laughs> not in <laughs> as in real life, and also as I seen there uh, they use phones at school and like that, and mm -hmm. their their lives is funnier. But here is like more straight all. Stricter. So it's not all the fun things we see in anime don't yeah. all exist in yeah. real life. <laughs> yeah. In Japan, it's one part of Japan is funny, like some museums with anime and like this street is so funny. But when you go and work and school, it's not funny as, yeah. <laughs> as in anime shows. And also a stereotype about uh, the Japanese girls wear only <laughs> short skirts. Yeah, yeah. And like, <laughs> it's like strange, but. Not really for all. Also in Japan, <laughs> everyone thinks that I'm 25. Oh, what? J Japanese. Sometimes, uh, like, old men come to me and ask for my Instagram because uh, they think that I'm 25. <laughs> okay, how old are you really? Is that okay to ask? I'm 13. Oh! I'm 15. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did not think you're 25. I guess I have the European eyes here. I'm yeah. like, yeah, you're definitely not 25. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, where are you guys from? I'm from Germany. And you too, right? Also Germany, yes. Yes. I really like the parks here around Tokyo. Tokyo sometimes is sometimes re like really overwhelming, so I like to see the nature. So I like to go to Yoyogi Park, for example. Just enjoy the nature there. There's also a temple, which is really nice. Before I came from Germany, I thought there was going to be barely any parks, and there's actually a lot. Yeah, there is. I'm really surprised about that. Because usually in, in movies and also in anime, you'll only see like the high buildings, like the skyscrapers and the crowds. Coming here, I was like actually surprised how many green parks there are here. Have you seen anything surprising in a park here? Maybe a capybara because we don't have that in Germany. Yeah, which is nice. I actually found out two secrets today on this train. I just looked up and there were two posters. One on the right hand side was Weiß Schwarz, which means white black, and that's a card game here in Japan. And on the left hand side was a thing which was a wedding service, which was called Zwei, which is also German for two. There's a couple of like little funny things you can figure out and discover here in Japan, but there's actually a lot of cool stuff we have compiled in our Things About Japan video. So you wanted to find out some secrets and some curious facts about Japan, check out this video next. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to share it. Catch you soon.